Okay, so we're gonna use this video clip right here to help us with our demonstration. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is to take this video clip to the Fusion page. And once we're on the Fusion page, the next thing we're gonna do is to connect the text node to the effects mask input of the media in node. And then we're gonna simply just type in our text here. It can be anything you like. And we're also gonna make it a little bit bigger so that it's more visible. And as you can see right away that now we have a text uh, that has a transparent background uh, and it's playing the content of the video that we saw earlier. Okay, so we still have the alpha channel uh, left and I'm gonna use the, a very simple color background here in this case uh, to fill the alpha channel. But in reality, you can use another video uh, to fill the alpha channel. It doesn't have to be a simple color background. Okay, so now we're pretty much done and then we're just gonna take this back to the edit page and we're gonna let it process, have a look at the output. So you're gonna see now that we have a finished video that has a transparent text whose background is playing the content of another video clip. Now there's another way of doing this. That is, instead of connecting the text node to the media in node, we can connect the text node to the effects mask input of the merge node. And once we do that, um, you will see now that we are, there's no difference between the output. We're achieving exactly the same result. But what's different is now that if we click the merge node and we go to apply mask inverted and we check the box, you're gonna see that we can easily switch between uh, text with a solid color background and text with a transparent background. And because it's so easy to do, and also it has a key, and it's key frameable, as you can see, we can actually create some very interesting effect right away, right off the bat. So what I'm gonna do is now that I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna alternate between, uh, you know, on and off for uh, apply mask inverted and I'm just gonna keyframe it, you know, for all these different, uh, all these different frames. And now um, let's go back to the edit page and have a look at the, uh, the, uh, the, the output. So as you can see now that we actually, just by connecting a few nodes and leveraging keyframe, we, we've created a pretty interesting, uh, a very cool effect uh, right away. So I hope this helps guys, and I will see you in the next video.